Working Man Radio. Your soul is broken. That's right. You're an emotional fucking That's right. I don't know what I'm telling you. Other than I lie. I thought I was super lying. That's right. It's time for Rush Limbaugh's Lie of the Day. Every single thing about you is ugly. The minimum wage is back in the news. Back in the news. Today, according to the news reports I looked at just a few minutes ago, the uh, minimum wage uh, worker strike has browsed spread to 60 cities. Predictably, Rush Limbaugh is on the case. In fact, he spent a good bit of time yesterday talking about the minimum wage. And the important thing about what Rush Limbaugh says about the minimum wage is that it is what every conservative says. It's what they've been saying for years. At the, the, the minimum wage debate is the core of the dispute between the owners and the people who go to work every day. Between the people, I, I just came, I've got a word for them. The producers. The owners versus the producers. Let me just say it. Rush Limbaugh is right now at this moment, Rush Limbaugh is winning. He's winning. And there are 25 million people out there running around with ideas that put in their heads by Rush Limbaugh and, and, and his fellow propagandists. What are you doing to counter those ideas? Where are our 25 million people saying, no, that's wrong? This country is divided in half. We have a subculture. They have a subculture that has decided that it's just not going to participate with the rest of us. There's no consensus to be had about reality. There is no consensus to be had about policy. There is no discussion. There is no compromise. Because Rush Limbaugh has created a brainwashed cult that wants it all their way and refuse to participate with any of the rest of us. They have essentially declared war on everybody who isn't them. What are we going to do about it? How are we going to deprogram these people? Where is the organization to deprogram these people? It's really not very hard to find something he says today that he didn't say 10 years ago. And the minimum wage is no exception. Let's get into it. Let's see what he's got. Let's see, let's see what he's got. They're, they're not making enough money to even buy, buy themselves a dinner and pay their rent. Well, then why don't they go get a job that does pay that? I mean, that's Maybe because they can't. Why can't they? Probably no other jobs out there in this bad economy. Why? They also what have we said and what do we know? about high unemployment economies. This is what the guy said, well, they're not going to get, you know, this is what the, like they say, well, you know, you can always go get another job. Well, uh, only if there is one. If there are no other jobs, then you're pretty much stuck in the job you've got, uh, and that, you know, unless you, you know, unless you want to go live on food stamps, which is even less than seven twenty five an hour. We know that every, every single period of Republican control of the White House has ended in high unemployment and recession. High unemployment economies are what they create inevitably every time. Eisenhower created one. Nixon and Ford created one. Reagan and Bush created one. George W. Bush created one. No, no Republican has ever left office with unemployment under 5%, ever. Ever. Because high unemployment drives wages down. It is that simple. We are seeing it now, and Limbaugh is making the argument. And Limbaugh is making the argument uh, that, you know, well, they, 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 that's, that's just tough. There are no jobs, and so you just have to take what the market will pay you, and they don't have to pay you as much because it's supply and demand. The Republicans are not going to bring down unemployment, but wait a minute, hold on, hold on. What did the guy say? What did this what did this caller what did, who did he blame this on? Who did he blame this on? Hold on a minute. Let me uh let's just let's listen to him one more time. Why aren't there any jobs out there? Yeah. The Democrats have destroyed this economy. We all know that. Right. The Democrats have destroyed this economy. 
right? That's what Limbaugh wants to tell you. Limbaugh's Republicans want high unemployment. The Republicans inevitably create high unemployment. The Republicans in the House have refused to consider the President's jobs bills. The Republicans in the House have not put forth any jobs bill of their own. The Republicans get, got together the day he was sworn in and said, we're going to obstruct everything he wants to do to improve this economy. They have set about a policy of keeping the economy bad so that Rush Limbaugh could then blame it on, on the Democrats for people who aren't paying attention and don't know these things. What else does Limbaugh say about this? Let's listen to some more. How about... McDonald's raises everybody to twenty dollars an hour. Would that be enough? Would that be okay? I think that would probably help a lot of people. What about twenty five dollars an hour? The managers should probably get at least that. They probably already do. Okay, then uh what about thirty dollars an hour? If that's the fair market rate. Well no, that's what seven twenty five is. What you just heard from Limbaugh is the slippery slope. Well, if, if, if it's uh, what, $10 an hour, why not 12 Why not 15 Why not 25 Why not 50 Why not 75 uh, Why not $100 an hour? Why don't, we just make, why don't we just pay everybody $100 an hour? You know, it's, it's, like, uh, it's like the argument about, about allowing a gay sex. Yes, but where does it end? What about children? Well, children aren't consenting adults. What about man-on-dog sex? Well, dogs aren't capable of consenting. I got a perfectly good answer for you. You want to, Where do we draw the line? That we draw the line at a living wage. What does it cost you? We can, this can be calculated. We can determine what does it cost you to pay your rent, pay your utilities. You have to have electricity. Electricity is not a luxury. If you try going to get a job without a hot shower, electricity is not a luxury. So you got to pay your rent. You got to pay your electricity. You have to clothe yourself, right? You have to clothe yourself. You need communication. Try getting a job without a phone number. You need a telephone. That's a, that's, a, that's a necessity. It's not a luxury. Health care is a necessity. You have to be healthy to work. Right? Living means staying healthy. It means fixing. It means, it, means, it means getting treatment when you get sick or when you get injured. These are costs. These are all legitimate costs of doing business if you're a working man. And the wage, the minimum wage should be enough to pay the lowest paid worker working 40 hours a week a living. What else has Limbaugh got? Last quote. Hey, Sean, I know you're still out there, San Diego. Are you willing to pay $10 for a Big Mac? So that the entry level wage is fifteen dollars an hour. You willing to pay that much for a Big Mac? Yeah, that's right, because they're paying you every cent they can afford. Let me give you the answer to this. First of all, they're making a profit. So if they're so they're so if their profit margin is reduced, they can afford to pay you all things being equal. But let me show you why this is wrong-headed. The wage scale is boosted across the board. And so when the wage scale is boosted across the board, uh, then, then basically you have more money in the pockets of the people on the bottom. And people on the bottom spend everything they get. If you're earning a living wage, you live paycheck to paycheck, and there's nothing left. At the end of the pay period, you spend every dime you get. And that means that then when they spend that money, they're spending it. They're, they're more money is, money is coming from the top to the bottom and working its way into what? McDonald's. People have money to go to McDonald's now. People have money to go to Wendy's. You have increased sales volume because more money is, you have more money on the bottom and more sales. And as sales volume rises, guess what? Do they have to hire? Are they, is, is their entire workforce working at complete capacity? Probably not. As 
demand increases and business increases, the, the, the workers who are making more money wind up doing more work to keep up with demand, with the increase in demand, right? Demand side economics works and supply side economics doesn't. The, the job creators are not the people, the, the investors with the money. The job creators are customers. They're the ones who demand the goods and services and, and by extension, demand the employees to make and to create those goods and services. That's why it has every, every time this comes up, the prediction is made, oh, the price of, of uh, the price of things is going to go through the roof and it never happens. That's why they have, all the way back to 1938, when the minimum wage was created, they have predicted inflation and job loss. It's going to be inflationary, and it's going to cause people that their people aren't going to hire anymore. And it never happens. It never happens. Because they're, pay, they're not paying you all they can. That's number one. They're not paying you all they can, and when the wage scale comes up, demand comes up. And when demand comes up, sales volume comes up and when sales volume comes up <coughs> the unit cost of labor comes down wage earners are job creators because they spend every nickel they get i'm joe lyles we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and comment you've been listening to working man radio with joe lyles at joelylesradio.com the Rush Limbaugh, live of the day, five days a week at JoeLylesRadio.com. Every single thing about you is